June 1st, 2001, Saturday night in Tel Aviv, hundreds of young people were crowding in front of the Dolphin nightclub, right on the beach. Among them, a Hamas terrorist stood unsuspecting. He mingled with the rest of the young adults there, none of them realizing what was about to happen. At 11.27 p.m., the terrorist activated the bomb attached to his body. It was packed with nails and shrapnel to cause maximum damage. The sounds of explosion, followed by screams, filled the air. Ambulances rushed to the scene, but it was too late for the 17 people who died on the scene. Four died shortly after, and 120 people were rushed to hospitals. The parents who had brought their children to Israel not that long ago were desperate for news about their loved ones. Anichka was killed in the terror attack 10 days before her birthday. She had only just started to figure out her life. She had dreams, love, future studies. It all ended in a moment. Like Anishka, many of the victims of this terror attack were new immigrants from the former USSR. More than 20 years later, the attack is an unforgettable event for many Israelis, but more so for the victims' families. With time passing by, it feels different. In the first months and years, I used to sleep with her pictures, and they were all spread around my apartment. Now it's harder to look at the photos. I fully grasp she's gone. She lost her life, and I'm living without my daughter. Next to the location of the attack still stands a sign in Russian which says, This is our home. <laughs> 